My name is Jean-Claude Van Damme. I used to be super famous. Maybe I took too many hits to the head in my boxing days. Or maybe I've just gotten too much holiday cheer jingle belling around my skull. But having given a string of good reviews of late, I'm here to put another one under the streaming Christmas tree with the particularly powerful and punchy Jean-Claude Van Johnson, starring the indomitable Jean-Claude Van Damme. Now, novelist William Dean Howells once said that what the American public always wants is a tragedy with a happy ending. Well, that is what you get in the David Callahan created JCVJ, which debuts its six episode first season on December 15th, with a clearly game and in on the action and the joke, JCVD as the time cop star himself, but actually also an undercover agent extraordinaire who's been making mostly less than stellar picks in the recent decades as a cover for his spy gig. Action! There he's home. There's the new man of the house. I'm so, so sorry, man. Funny, smart where you don't expect it, a bit shameless, framed literally and figuratively like a postmodern Buster Keaton, seriously that face, and of course full of kick spins and that surely trademark split by the muscles from Brussels, I couldn't get enough of this Ridley Scott EP'd, rather seriously constructed satire series, which takes some of the premise of the 2008 film JCVD to, well, to put it mildly, another plate. Leading credence to my mantra that Amazon is at its best when it goes wacky and leaves the MOR behind, JCVJ is very meta, like Spike Jones and Nicolas Cage's starring adaptation. And let me tell you, there's a great Nicolas Cage joke in the JCVJ pilot. And also, it's a think piece on the perils of action movies, but also very witty in a way that, say, The Expendables, which Van Damme was in the sequel to, and Callahan penned the original 2010 film, could never sustain. The shift to old school action movie tropes and aesthetics, like the soundtrack workout montage, only served to make this multi-genre mashup all the more a delightful mix. And honest to God, I was never that big a Van Damme fan back in the day. Don't worry, nobody's going to lay eyes on me. Hey! Philippe, how does it going? Good. Good, good. Well, I don't want to keep. Though the kickboxer actor is the core here, especially with his Adventures of Huckleberry Finn remake film within the series, there's a lot more than Van Damme. With WME Power Play and Looper and other Hollywood inside baseball shoutouts, abandoned blockbuster stores, Serge Gainsbourg, Jurassic Park sequels, David Bowie inspired screenplays, and some seriously powerful agents from the fictional United Morris Agency. In a pretty enterprising ensemble of the likes of Kate Foster and Moses Arias, the always regal Felicia Rashad excels as JC's super agent and spy handler, and more, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the martial arts ace and taking the steel-hard stance of her recent Empire stint to the next level. Such an overused term in and out of video game circles, next level is also, though, the takeaway for Jean-Claude Van Johnson for me. Because when you look into the actor's face, as you often do in this series, it doesn't matter if you are a past fan or if you're looking for something new. What is here with Jean-Claude Van Johnson is something just that little bit unique, and hence, well worth watching. Holiday cheer and all. Classic Johnson.